Hi, and welcome back to Scotty's Tech Out Info. I'm Scotty with my co-host Cletus. Oh, Windows update again. So uh, I made three videos on this before. Uh, I made one video you can watch here. If Windows Update has worked your computer, uh, you can try and use System Restore and fix it. I made another one where uh, it was a common fix for many Windows Update problems. Uh, then after that, uh, that first Fix It video, I made a second one called Windows Update is Missing, Fix It Fast, something like that. Uh, and the whole idea there was there's this little process you can go through where you essentially reinstall Windows Update and Bob's your uncle, all your problems go away. Uh, until just recently, those were the two main fixes that I would use to fix Windows Update and I didn't have a problem. However, beginning uh, in, uh, it was about a month ago, the July updates for Windows 11, uh, they wouldn't install on my main desktop computer. So I tried all the tricks in the book and none of them worked. Uh, so I thought, well, you know, sometimes it's just, you know, July updates are bad. I'll just wait for August updates. I was busy with other stuff. Okay, so I waited. So the August updates came in, couldn't install them. Tried everything under the sun, nothing worked, except for this. Okay, so if you've tried these other, these other things, Windows won't update, fix it fast, and Windows update is missing, fix it for good. Uh, right, if those don't work, then what you're going to do is, uh, in Windows, you're going to uh, open the start menu, click start or tap the Windows key, and type msconfig, and then click on system configuration. And what that's going to do is bring this little system configuration box up. Here in the general tab, you can see you have normal startup, diagnostic startup, and selective startup. What you're going to do is click selective startup. And then you're going to go over to the services tab. And the first thing you're going to do, you're going to notice you have a whole lot of stuff that runs at startup here. Click the checkbox at the bottom, hide all Microsoft services. What that's going to do is get rid of like all the Windows stuff. And the idea here is that you're going to go through all your startup programs, all this stuff that runs at startup that you probably didn't even know existed. Brave Update Service, uh, Intel Content Protection, NVIDIA Framework, Google Chrome Elevation Service, Google Update Service. The chances are that one of these startup things is actually screwing your computer up. So what you're going to do is go through this list after you've hidden all the Microsoft services and you're going to find anything that looks suspicious and disable it. Now, obviously, um, you know, Apple mobile device service, Acrobat update service, it could be any of these things. So the key here is to kind of go through the list and go, right, what did I add recently, right? I've had Brave installed forever, so yeah, probably that's not causing a problem. I've had Bonjour, which is part of, you know, Apple. Yeah, I got that new Apple device eons ago, so that's probably not the, the thing. The best thing to do is to find something that you don't recognize, like what the heck is Duet Updater Manufacturer Kairos? I have no idea, so I'll be like, okay, yeah, let's just unclick that one. NVIDIA, I have an NVIDIA graphics chip. Yeah, that's probably not causing an issue. Google, I've had Chrome forever. All this Intel stuff, that's kind of like drivers and stuff to make things work. Um, killer, blah, 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 that's for my 2.5 gig Ethernet in this laptop. Uh, and you can kind of scroll down and, and see, like, all this stuff. Uh, you're going to have to kind of just pick and choose. So, um, Mystic Light Service, Nahimic, this is stuff for my specific laptop. So I might scroll down here, uh, so, you know, Steel Series Update, USB Device Manager, blah, blah, blah. So, once you've gone through here, uh, uncheck a couple of these things, one or more. Uh, you can uncheck everything if you want, and then you're just going to click OK. And then uh, it will say restart or exit without restart. Um, it depends. What I do is I click exit without restart, and then I go into settings, because then what you want to do is you want to go back to Windows Update, and when you have your Windows Update here, there should be a retry button. So you can click OK, retry. It'll probably re-download the update. Your computer will reboot, and most likely uh, your Windows updates will install, which is just magical. Okay, now when you're done, you probably want to go back into MS Config and re-enable those services. Or if you haven't noticed that anything is kind of missing or broken, uh, just leave it alone. You can go back and you can switch back to normal startup. You can leave it on selective startup forever. Uh, this MS Config thing is actually a handy way to see all the kind of hidden services and things that are running at, at boot up on your computer, and you can just kind of turn some of them off if you don't le need them and leave them off. As I said, it can be kind of tedious because you may turn something off and it may not work, and you have to may turn turn more things off. Um, 
you know, if you want to, just disable them all, like I said, reboot, let the Windows Update install, then re-enable them, reboot again, and see, you know, next month when more Windows Updates come in, see if that helps. Now, uh, as I said, I spent over a month looking for this fix, and I finally found it, and in my particular case, the issue was something called Asus Updater. Now, I got a new optical drive. Uh, I still watch some old Blu-ray movies from time to time. My external Blu-ray drive died, and it came with a firmware updater. So when I installed this firmware updater, it did absolutely nothing, but it turns out that it actually left this ASUS update program in my startup. I saw it in Selective Startup, and it, it didn't work. It wasn't doing anything, but it was borking the Windows updates. So I simply disabled that one thing, because the minute I saw it, I went, oh my god, it's my stupid optical drive updater. So I unchecked that, restarted, Windows installed fine, and everything was okay. Right, so it's a bit tricky, you have to play with it, but hopefully you'll be able to figure out exactly what it is that's running at startup that's preventing Windows Update from working, uh, and then you won't get that wonderful something went wrong error message anymore. Uh, as for Windows Update, it, I've created a playlist for fixing Windows Update. Um, I guess as long as Microsoft continues to make crap updates that break everything, I will continue to make videos on how to fix Windows Update. So, right, uh, let me know in the comments below if that worked for you, or if it didn't, or if you have any other solutions. For more Techie Tips, see scottystech.info. Thanks for watching. See you next time.